Hello, in today's video we're going to be talking about how we calculate tidal heights and tidal times at a standard port for any tidal sequence during the day. Obviously um, we're going to use an almanac, in this case it's a Reeds Channel almanac, which I thoroughly recommend to you if you sail in that region. As you can see the almanac has tidal times for all ports, and this one is Portsmouth, and Portsmouth is a primary port. It's got a tidal curve which shows the characteristics of tidal flow and also you can see partially shaded and partially unshaded. The unshaded areas require you to add one hour to bring it to British summer time because all of the times shown in the almanac are in universal time. I've decided to use 27th of July 2020 as our date because it's in the past and as you can see we have transferred or I've transferred the times and the tidal heights for high water and low water being two of each during that 24 hour day onto a pad and those times are universal because a universal time because there's uh, no hour added yet it's in an unshaded area so we're going to add one hour for British summer time which is the local time in that region at on that date um, then if you look at what we've got, we've got a hazard to clear. I've assumed that we've got a, a mud bank that dries to half a metre above chart datum um, of half a metre above sea level at chart datum. So to clear that with a vessel of 1.6 metres draft, we're going to need 2.1 metres of water. And I've added half a metre for safety. So we need 2.6 metres of water in order to get over that mud bank. So I'm assuming we're going day sailing and we'll therefore want to leave some point in the morning, but not too early, not too late. Obviously, that's not always going to be practical, but um, in this case, looking at it, we can probably work that out. We've got the high water and low water times and heights. So then we go to our tidal curve for Portsmouth and we transfer the relevant high water and low water onto the scale for depth. So there's a depth scale at the bottom and the top of this chart. And um, we've got a low water and a high water scale. The high water scale's at the top, low water at the bottom. So we put in 1.2 metres and 4.4 metres. Then we draw a line, just a linear representation of the difference between high and low water, which we draw in onto our chart like so. Uh, once we've got that in place, we need to then find out We've got 2.6 meters we need to put on the chart and we then can transfer that across the tidal curve which is the characteristic characteristics of the tidal um, flow into and out of Portsmouth and um, if we draw a line from 2.6 meters up to a linear line between high and wa low water on that day and then draw it across the tidal curve we then know that where the line crosses the tidal curve we've got a minimum of 2.6 metres of water. Then we can run down from that line onto the time scale, which is at the bottom, and that will show us the window during that tidal sequence that we are able to uh, have 2.6 metres of water as a minimum and go over that mud bank with 50 centimetres of safety. Okay, so um, before high water is going to be too early, so we're going to go later in the tidal window, which is when it'll be more realistic for us to go sailing. So there we are, 2.6 metres, tidal window is there. And if we look at the end of the tidal window, that's probably more realistic. And obviously that's a falling tide, the tide's going out, so we can't be late for that. Um, each one of those little um, feathers on the scale is 10 minutes. So um, we're three hours after high water, high water's at 0507 BST. Um, so three hours after is 0807 and then each one of those little feathers is 10 minutes so you can see just about two feathers there so that would be 0827 which would be our um, latest time to be able to cross the mud bank which dries to half a meter above chart datum in our boat which has a draft of 1.6 meters and still allow us 50 centimetres of safety, so 50 centimetres of water underneath the bottom of our keel. So looking at uh, that, we've got eight, uh, three hours after plus 10, 20, and a bit. 
So uh, let's say 20 minutes, three hours, 20 minutes after high water. 0507 is high water, so that's 827 BST is the latest we can cross that bank and have 50 centimeters underneath us on a falling tide. In this example, I would probably look to slip lines at 0800, leaving us 27 minutes to get over the bank, which is just outside the marina, and um, we'd still have 50 centimeters of tide underneath us, so we shouldn't get stuck there and ruin our day. Thanks for visiting Free Sailing Tutorials. If you'd like to see more of our free tutorials online, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook page, or alternatively go to freesailingtutorials.com, subscribe for weekly updates.